Hey everybody, welcome to your daily reading for September 4th, 2019. I hope you all are doing well. On my end, guys, I've been going through some um, stress, so bear with me. I know a lot of you are still waiting on those um, Zodiac videos for the month of September. I'm slowly going to be recording them. So for many of you who've been following me since the beginning, you know that I haven't been on YouTube for the, you know, for the longest time. So um, financially, I need to survive. Um, being a teacher and being off during the summer has, you know, made me reflect a lot about what I want to do in the next phase. And for now, I am not accepting, you know, any offer at this point because I feel like my sole purpose is here on YouTube and delivering messages for the collective because I feel extremely drawn to do so. And maybe I'm not a teacher in a school, but I feel like I'm, you know, a spiritual teacher in, in, in a way because I've been on this spiritual journey just like all of you. So for the ones who've been um, supporting me and who've been um, cheering me on, thank you so much. I see your comments. I appreciate every single one of them. I appreciate every single like, comment, share, subscription, follow on Instagram and Facebook. A lot of you have been following me on social media. So thank you so much. It, it really means the world to me. So if you do want a personal reading, I am um, open to doing so this week. So just email me and I'll email you all the details. I do pre-recorded readings just because I have so much going on right now and I we, we're probably on different time zones anyway. So it's very difficult to like set up an appointment in that sense just because I have other projects on the side that I want to start. I will be coming out with a beautiful bracelet, crystal bracelet that I'm working on with a dear dear friend a reiki master meditation teacher crystal therapist um we will be coming out with this bracelet very soon she's still working on the creation and i just can't wait so stay tuned and also my merchandise i am working on some merchandise um i'm probably going to start with some like t-shirts and you know coffee mugs and um yeah so stay tuned for that guys i appreciate all your love and support and in any way shape or form um so this today for this reading it's going to be short and sweet it's basically you know uh doing a checkup of the energies of what's coming up today um remember time is an illusion energy is fluid so you know take these messages as they resonate i'm going to be using the tarot but also a deck that I haven't been using for the last few weeks, which is called the Astrology, the Black Moon Astrology Cards. I will be looking at the guidebook because these cards are absolutely beautiful, but a little bit complex. Just because I'm not an astrologer, I am, you know, a student of astrology and I love astrology. And I watch astrology videos almost every single day, as it is one of my passions. But I'm still not, you know, fully knowledgeable in every single aspect of it it's it's a, an amazing concept so let's take a look at the energy today the overall energy with the astrology cards what do you want us to know spirit today for my collective who's watching today or tomorrow remember time is an illusion just one card please spirit Ooh, water element sensing Okay, so, gosh, if you've been feeling extra emotional, especially that weekend, the last weekend, the long weekend that we've been having, we are in our feels, guys, with that water element, number 40, sensing. We feel, I feel with this car, I feel like a storm is coming. I mean, I feel like the storm has started for me, but I feel like something is approaching us you know we we can feel something brewing this is what i meant to say so let me take a look at what it says so i can give you some more information about what energy this embodies today wednesday august i think we're still in august september 4th your intellect may be confused but your emotions will never lie to you so let matters flow in astrology, the element of water represents our emotions and our talents of the imagination. Water characterizes the realm of vision, talking us into the quintessential depths of feeling where intuition is more appropriate than acquired wisdom and knowledge. We get carried away on water. We have feelings of floating or being adrift over water. When looking at the shimmering surfaces of water, we cannot see the bottom. 
but we know and sense what is there. Deep things, too obtuse and transitory to explain. Fathoms of moods and insight. Water is the element of the science, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So if you're dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or you may be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or you may have a moon or rising in this in these signs. The planets of water, the moon, Pluto, and Neptune. So the planets of water are the moon, Pluto, and Neptune. And why do I feel like those three planets right now are, are really affecting us all right now? The moon, Pluto, and Neptune. Those three planets. So I'm going to take a look in brief, because this is really long and I'm not going to read it all. So here it says the key words, the key ideas, emotional nu nuances, trips over, trips across water for some of you. You may be, you know, thinking of taking a trip, lack of energy, sensing what is act accurate without being told. So this is what I'm feeling is that we are sensing that something is coming without nobody telling us. At the same time, we're we're like we're just in our fields, and there's this lack of energy that comes with it because it is draining. It this is draining, so we might be feel drained today, guys. This is what I'm feeling at this point today. It's I woke up feeling drained, so this makes sense. I know a lot of other people out there are feeling the same way, so I think we have to just ride this wave. Um, my moon in Pisces is definitely being triggered somehow in my in my astrology chart, in my birth chart. Go the distance. So here I'm using the wisdom of the oracle. And the second message here is go the distance. Number 47. Breaking it down to an 11. Going the distance. What does that mean, spirit? Let's take a look. So this is page 40, number 47. Beautiful card, though. Do you see how this cheetah is taking a leap? This is what I'm getting. Taking a leap. Taking a leap of faith. Going the distance. I think we. It, this is all about self-motivation. 45, 46, 47. I'm almost there. All right. Going the distance. Endurance, strength, the long haul. To bring your dream to life, you must think long term and pay no attention to the fluctuations in the current of your experience. This is what we're experiencing. We're experiencing fluctuations right now. Things are constantly like changing. Curveballs are being thrown at us. But it says here that we have to we have to keep up with that endurance. We have to continue having the strength to go the distance. Joy and disappointment commingle with opportunities so there is no need to fear the occasional obstacle life is not a sprint the card is a reminder that you have endurance strength and fortitude to carry you all the way remain true to yourself your authenticity alone will help you in alignment with the energy of miracles what is yours will never be withheld from you remember that so what is yours will never uh will always be there for you oh this is beautiful this is beautiful. So I'm going to read the relationship message. I think this is going to resonate with a lot of people. You either are, are in or calling in a harmonious relationship that can stand the test of time. For better or worse, as you ride the ups and downs and even strain, break yourself and are remade in new growth, you are being redeemed by the power of regeneration. Harmony does not mean there will be there will never be a wrong note played, but that the relationship is marked by endurance and dedication to overall unity. A new song can be written, an instrument can be tuned, and the symphony of love will play on. Listen with your heart. Isn't it magnificent? So I think this is saying that we we got to keep going and I mean despite all this crazy energy, this emotional roller coaster the fluctuations that we may be feeling today we need to keep the faith because at the end of the day things will turn out for us the way they are meant to be turn the way they are meant to be so let's take a look at what the tarot says maybe look at the challenges of what we're facing this week so this week will but today it could be this week as well so there's a i feel like there's like going to be this turning point where we're just going to have to it's like the test, standing the test of time. 
It's like challenging our fate, our faith. Yeah. Some of us are moving on to calmer waters here. Some, some of us need to gain peace of mind. And this is what's challenging us is that it's hard to get to that, to get to that uh, calm shore, right? To calm waters. This is what's challenging us. And then moving on from, from these um, set beliefs is a challenge as well. So what is the advice for us, Spirit? today what is the advice i'm using the angel answers guys six of swords is the challenge going the distance it's funny this is a distance card so having the strength to move on from these thoughts because swords are thoughts guys so it's hard to move on and to find calm and peace in our thoughts because our thoughts may be a little bit crazy right now mercury is doing some crazy things mercury is the planet of communication and, and of thoughts okay those are way too many cards spirit whoa Okay, so they're saying within the next few months, within the next few months, so things will pick up in the next few months. Things will start unfolding within the next few months. But right now, we're in a time of recovery. We are retreating. We are healing. We are going within to find answers So and finding the strength to go the distance through these emotional waters, through these weird thoughts that we keep getting because we're obviously having a hard time moving on from these difficult times sometimes and to be assertive be assertive don't give up stand up for what you believe in this is the advice that is given to us today guys so thank you so much guys for tuning into your daily um wednesday reading i will be posting uh, some more uh, zodiac readings the love scope readings for september for the first half of september so check those out if you want to reach me for a personal reading, everything is in the description box. So have a great Wednesday, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.